make your lampshade cover, you will need some fabric. And there's a lot of ugly ones out there, but this is the one that I found at Joann's. I love it. Totally what I was going for for like that cottagey vibe. I got two yards, which was way too much. You're only gonna need about a third, depending on how big your lampshade is. I made two small lampshades. To start, you're gonna wanna measure the height of your lampshade and cut, you know, however much you want. I did two long strips to start. Now, we're basically gonna be making a ton of little pleats. So out of the strip of fabric that you just cut, you're gonna make little tiny strips that are about two inches to three inches wide. You're gonna make a line of glue on the top and the bottom and you're gonna fold in those sides. Now what makes your lamp look really professional and not just totally homemade is making sure that your pleats are super crisp. If you have an iron, you can iron them. I just, I, I did it the, the lazy, it was the lazy way. I just kind of rubbed it down with my finger and made sure it was super flat or you can even put a heavy book on top of them. As you are gluing on your pleats onto your lampshade, you're going to be layering that one just on top of the other. Um, on my first lampshade, my pattern was kind of more irregular and just imperfect. On my second lampshade, I kind of made it more um, more consistent. And either, either one works. Honestly, I like both of them. So I just kind of wanted to see what each one would look like, but you can't even really tell. So I'm just kind of placing my, my pleats onto my lampshade and I'm covering my whole lampshade um, with just a bead of glue at the top and the bottom. You're gonna do the exact same thing and make one really long pleated strip that you are going to attach to the top and the bottom of your lampshade. Um, you're just gonna measure that out with you know measuring the top and then the bottom and cutting that accordingly. And then I just kind of folded mine over to make a nice seam. Then on the inside of my lamp, I just put a, a strip of glue and I'm tucking that fabric into the inside of the lampshade, both on the top and the bottom, and you won't, you won't be able to see this. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But that is it. It is the easiest DIY I think I've ever done. So cute, I hope you love it. Um, if you want more DIYs, click here for more.